percent on the price of eight Australian dollars has to be paid, which equates to 40 cents for the Australian wine. The tariff for the New Zealand wine is 5% on six Australian dollars, which equates to 30 cents. In addition to the law on tariffs, there are also specific tariffs used that are not levied on the basis of the price, but on the volume, weight, or number of units of the product. The country most using specific tariffs is Switzerland, where more than 80% of all applied most varied nation tariff lines are specific tariffs. For Thailand, Russia, Argentina, Belarus, and the United States of America, the shares are around 10%. Let's have a look at an example for specific tariffs and how they change relative prices after the border. The Swiss import tariff for beef is approximately 14 francs for the HS codes 02, 01, 02, 19 and 02, 01, 2099. That is for a specific type of bovine meat outside of a tariff quota. Let's analyze how this affects the outer border prices for differently priced meat imports. Imagine there are imports of meat of different quality, which translates to diverging product prices. For example, ordinary Argentinian beef costs 3.5 francs per kilogram, and Argentinian prime quality beef, that is four times the quality of the ordinary beef, also costs four times more, that is 14 francs per kilogram. At the border, a tariff of 14 francs per kilogram has to be paid, irrespective of the original price of the product. This leads to an after border price of 17.5 francs per kilogram for the ordinary beef and of 28 francs per kilogram for the prime quality beef. The tariff of 14 francs is four times the price of ordinary beef and just as high as the original price for the prime quality beef. This translates to a Boulogne equivalence of 400% and 100% respectively. Comparing the after border prices directly, we observe now that after the tariff is paid, the high quality beef is only 1.6% times the price, but is still four times the quality. Thus, the specific tariffs change the relative prices of differently priced products of the same HS code. There are also tariffs that combine at the long tariffs and specific tariff rates. They are called compound tariffs. For example, a tariff of 10% plus $2 per unit could be applied. Compound tariffs are frequently applied by Japan, the European Union, and Canada. For example, the USA applies a tariff of 4.3% and 528 US dollars per ton to imported chocolate of the HS code 18063208, which is chocolate in box, slabs, or bars, weighing 2 kilograms or less, not filled containing over 5.5% by weight of butter fat, not elsewhere specified or indicated. Imagine Switzerland exports chocolate of this HS code to the USA, where the price per ton is 9,260 US dollars. Mexico also exports chocolate of this HS code to the USA, but with an average price of 2,600 US dollars. The compound tariff again changes the relative after border prices of the differently priced products of the same HS code, just as described before for the specific tariff. Here, the Advalorum part of the compound tariff of 4.3% translates to a tariff of 398 US dollars for the Swiss chocolate as 9260 times 0.043 is 398. <coughs> Additionally, the specific tariff of 528 US dollars per ton is applied, 
Fíjate, puede ver esta. Son ocho.